welcome back to our weekly live stream. My name is Alicia, and in today's live lesson, we are going to talk about how to talk about your day. I have three key questions we are going to practice that sound kind of similar, and we are going to talk about how to respond to these kinds of super, super common questions. So I am going to talk about questions you will probably hear at the end of the day, in the middle of the day, and maybe different points in the day too, and how to respond to them, what verb tenses to use to respond to them, and vocabulary words to think about. So I hope that you find something that you can use right away in today's lesson. So as you join, please, please, please make sure to hit the like button and of course, share this video so that other people can find today's lesson. That would be super, super cool. So while we wait for people to join us live, as always, I have two very fast announcements for you. The first one is about this banner at the bottom of the screen, which says test your level now. If you have not tried our team's level check test, you should do it. So I know a lot of you ask, you send me your questions all the time about your level. How do I know my level? What should I study next? I don't know what's right for me. So our team created a level check test so that you can take it on this page. You can log in. <laughs> you can log in to access this level check test from the page below the video. The link is below the video in the YouTube description. If you're watching this live stream on Facebook, you can find this above the video there. This page gives you all the information about the level check test. So. You can find one, two, three, four steps to access the test if you need some help. And after you take the test, you will get a recommendation like this. So it will give you some courses and some pathways to take at EnglishClass101.com and give you some ideas for the next things for you specifically to study. So if you don't know what to study next or you just want some ideas, check this out. I hope that it can be a helpful tool for you. That is announcement number one. Announcement number two, as always, if you want to ask me a question that is different from today's live stream topic, please ask me the question, but do not send it in the live stream chat because I cannot answer all questions. Today's live stream is only for today's live stream topic. So send them to me, send me your questions for our weekly question and answer series called Ask Alicia. Ta -da! This is a very old picture from this series, but if you want to send me your question, send it to the official question submission page, which is at englishclass101.com slash ask hyphen Alicia. That is a very long URL. You can find the link for this in the YouTube description of this video or check any episode of Ask Alicia on YouTube and you can find the official question submission page there. So check it out. I always, I always need your questions. So please send them to me, okay? It looks like everything, let's see, I see YouTube. What is up YouTube? Hello everybody. Uh, Facebook, I see you on Facebook. Great, hi, everybody is here. Awesome, that's fantastic. If you haven't, please make sure to like and share the video. I'm going to like and share the video right now. Okay, great. So yes, send me questions for this series. If you think of something, send it to me and I'll read your question, I promise you that. Maybe I'll choose it. And if you want to find me on social media, you can find those links in the YouTube description also, Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is probably best. Okay, let's start. I think everything is rolling. Hello, uh, Joanna and Marlene and Sanjay and Eric and Swarenka and Amir. What is up, everybody on YouTube? Facebook, hello, Facebook. Yusufi, hi, Yusufi Monday. hello. Wasim, what's up? Mohammed, hello. Someone whose name is written in Thai. Hello. I can't read your name. Rosa, what's up? Saad, hello. Okay, everybody is here. Facebook and YouTube, you are both here. Love that. Let's get started. Today we are going to talk about how to talk about your day. So I want to start, I want to kind of uh, do our first question, our warm-up question uh, to begin. You can answer this question with whatever you want, but I'm going to share two patterns to use to answer this. So the first question, depending on your time zone, you can answer uh, according to true information about your life. 
How was your day today? How was your day today? So notice, this is past tense, yeah? How was your day today? So this is a question we use at the end of the day. So usually we use this like when we come home to our family or maybe our roommates or our friends at the end of the day. How was your day today? At native speed, this sounds like, how's your day today? How's your day today? So this how was is super quick. How's it sounds like? How was your day today? How was your day today? The w is really short. How was your day today? Yeah. How was your day today? So how do we answer this question? You can send your ideas in the chat, but we are going to talk about two basic patterns. The first one is very simple. It was adjective. It was adjective. So in this part of the sentence, you can choose your own adjective. It was adjective. For example, it was good, right? <laughs> this is the basic response. How was your day today? It was good, <laughs> yeah. Or another very common one, it was busy. It was busy, right? Another very common. So at native speed, this sounds like, how's your day today? It was good. Or how was your day today? It was busy, right? Or you can put so busy or super busy, for example. So if you, like, if it's evening in your time zone now, or if you are near the end of your day, you can answer this question. How was your day today? Yeah. So what do you think about the day? So this is a past tense question. So key point, use past tense to answer. It was, it was, not is. It was good. All right, May 2 says it was great. Good, okay? So some of you are putting it's, no. Not it is, was, it was, it was, right? Okay, um, let's see, Ratan, one of our members, hey, says it was spectacular. All right, a super good day, congratulations. <laughs> okay, uh, interesting ones. Rosarine says it was embarrassing. Okay, I want to know more. So this, this uh, first pattern, I, I started it be with this pattern because in part two, we are going to give more detail, right? So why was it good? Why was it busy? Why was it embarrassing, right? So you're going to give more detail with pattern number two. Others, um, by the house says it was amazing. Okay, Paloma says it was not bad. Okay, Rosarine says it was boring. Okay. Some people are saying it was not bad. Wow, <laughs> everybody is writing about their day today. Perfect, <laughs> great, <laughs> easy question, right? Okay, Aman says it was very awesome. Okay, good. Um, Renan, careful, Renan wrote it was very tired. So remember, tired is for your emotion. If it ends in like ED, like excited or tired or bored, we use that for ourselves, right? Use the ING ending, it was tiring. Yeah, or it was exciting, it was boring. Yeah, so don't forget that those ED ending adjectives mm, we use for ourselves, ING ending adjectives, like we use those for outside ourselves. So, okay, Facebook has a bunch now too. Okay, what did you write, Facebook? Uh, let's see, Hugo, it was soft. What does that mean? Soft? We use soft for like materials, like my hair feels soft, or this pillow is soft. What do you mean soft? Maybe this is a translation point. Maybe you can give me an example, okay? Uh, Reiko says it was good. Rosa says it was so-so, good. Monica says it was good. Uh, it was good, it was good, it was good, it was terrible. It was boring, maybe, Tamir? I'm not sure. Okay, so lots of people writing lots of adjectives. So let's go to part two, the follow-up now. What happened specifically? So. It was good, it was busy, it was embarrassing. What happened? Part two. <laughs> so give us some information about your day. So I, past tense verb phrase, yeah? Again, the key here, past tense, because you are talking about today. Like it's evening, for example. So what happened, right? So it was busy. I had a bunch of meetings. It was busy, I had a bunch of meetings, yeah, at native speed. So here is my past tense verb, had, yeah? I had a bunch of meetings. 
Okay, and this, a bunch of, is a casual way to say a lot of or many, yeah? So if I come home and I say, like, oh, I had many meetings, it sounds really stiff, yeah? So we usually use these kinds of casual expressions to mean a lot. I had a bunch of, I had a ton of meetings. Don't forget, plural, yeah? <laughs> I had a bunch of meetings. Okay, here's another example. Past tense is our key point here. I finished a big project. I finished a big project. Oh, I made a typo, sorry. <laughs> I finished a big project, sorry. I made a typo, let me fix that real quick. I finished a big project. We all make typos, here we go. Okay, I fixed it. So, I finished a big project. So, again, we have our past tense verb and then a task in this case. And in this case, we have a, uh, but maybe if you have been talking to the person, like your roommate or your family member or your partner about the project, maybe they know. So you can say, I finished the big project or I finished that big project. Yeah. So you can use these examples, but I'm going to check for yours now too. Uh, let's see, others. Uh, Rosarin says, we had guests. Then we talked to my cousin who is uh, not, so smaller means size, yeah? So who is younger than me by five years. So who is five years younger. So small means size, yeah? Young means age, yeah? Okay. Um, others, uh, the day, Harish says, the day over, maybe the day was full of meetings, you can say. That's another way to say this. I had a bunch of meetings, or the day was full, F-U-L-L, the day was full of meetings, you could say that. Paloma writes, I had an exam, but I'm not sure I did well. Okay, nice example sentence. Others, let's see, so what did you do? Some of you are sending just basic <laughs> past tense sentences. Grammar is great. But remember, you are sharing details with someone about your day, right? So if you just say something like, uh, I don't know, I turned on my computer, it's like, that's kind of boring, right? So when you share about something that happened in your day, like you don't, you don't say, I turned on my computer today. It's like, that's it? <laughs> what, what happened, right? We want some updates about your activities, okay? All right, so send some more YouTube. I'll come back to you. Facebook, um, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Tajala Zia, I hope I said your name right. Hi, on Facebook. It says, I had a bunch of homework. Yeah, I had a bunch of homework to do. Good one for students, okay. Um, Vi, interesting one. I ate tacos for breakfast today. Okay, that's a pretty good start to the day, I guess. It's just like, that's an interesting point, right? That's like a, that's a conversation point, yeah? So we're talking about like interesting things that happened today. This is a conversation skill, yeah? I know these are basic questions, but this is an important conversation skill we are practicing, right? So share something to continue the conversation, okay? All right. Um, all right. Some of you are using interesting grammar points. Mohammed wrote, I was praying for my morning prayer. Okay, so if you want to talk about that, again, use past tense. I prayed, yeah, I prayed during the morning prayer time, for example. So again, these are conversation points. So the, the reason I want to practice this question, how was your day today, is because this is the beginning of a conversation. If you give a very simple answer, like, I went to work or something, or like a one-time action, it's, it ends the conversation, right? The purpose of this is to have a conversation. So how do we continue the conversation, right? This is what we are practicing here, okay? So let's see. N Natalie says, I worked out and got exhausted. Okay, that's a good one. We can continue. Like, what did you do at the gym? Or did you go jogging? Or did you play a sport, right? Good. By the house route, let's see, I made a video on YouTube. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really good conversation point. Okay, I like that. Um, a couple of you wrote, I explained this earlier, bunch. This means a lot of. This is a casual way to say a lot of, if you missed that explanation earlier. Okay, so here, again, like I said, conversation points. This is an important skill to know. So with this, 
you are giving the next topic in the conversation, right? So continue with something that you can talk about, yeah? Okay, good. So this is part one for today. Key point here, past tense question. How was your day today? Okay, so let's go to a quick break and then we'll go to part two, a different time point, okay? So let's take a super quick break and then we will come back to the next uh, grammar pattern we're going to practice for this, okay? So very quickly, if you missed it, check the banner here that says test your level now. Click the link in the description. <laughs> so if you missed it earlier or if you missed it in any other live stream, the team has a level check test that is free. So if you don't know what to study next or if you don't know like your level or what kinds of things you can do at your level, what lessons you can take at your level, the team has created a level check test. So you can find this from the link below the video if you're watching on YouTube or above the video if you're watching on Facebook. You need your name and an email address to access the test and you can get some recommendations just for you. So check it out if you need some ideas for the next thing to study, okay? Cool, let's continue now to part to a different grammar point, all right? So if you haven't, a quick reminder to make sure to like and share the video so other people can find today's lesson. Okay, some of you are sending some more example sentences and questions. Um, oh, Pulentito, so again, um, some of you, I've seen a few people write um, today, I've seen a few people write the expression, I, uh, it was bored, or I had, someone just wrote, I had a bored meeting, yeah? I'm going to put a quick tip on here to remind you, because I've seen a few people uh, doing the same mistake. So, bored is your emotion. Boring refers to a thing outside you, yeah? So, if you say, uh, I am uh, boring or something like that. You're talking about yourself as a person. That was, here, let me move this up here. Okay, so if you want to talk about a meeting, for example, you cannot say, like, I had a bored meeting, right? We use bored to talk about my your current feeling, yeah? Same thing with exciting, yeah? So we use these to talk about emotions, yeah? Uh, our feelings, yeah? We talk about things outside of us with the ing form. So I've seen many of you make this mistake, this exact mistake in the chat. So please keep this in mind for part two. So you are going to practice this again in part two. So a few of you <laughs> have made this mistake. So please be careful in part two. Okay, let's go to part two, question two. Next one, different grammar. How's your day going? How's your day going? Okay, so how's is our key here. You're going to hear native speakers use this. This means how is, how is, yeah? So is, not was. In part one, we practiced how was your day going, yeah? How was your day going? Or sorry, how was your day today, sorry. How was your day today? In this one, in part two, we are going to practice How's your day going? So this is a question about now, this moment. So how do we answer it? So this question, maybe you hear maybe around lunchtime or maybe, I don't know, 10 o'clock or 2 p.m. or so. So the day has not finished yet. How do we answer this kind of question? So let's again look at two patterns, okay? First, very, very similar <laughs> to part one. Very similar to part one is this one. Today is adjective. Today is adjective. So we practiced was in part one, yeah, past tense. Now, however, we are using is because the day is continuing, right? So we can use a very basic pattern to answer this question. Also, how's your day going? You can say, today is crazy. Or of course, you can say, oh, it's crazy. That's also okay here. It's is also okay. So today is crazy, <laughs> yeah? So crazy can mean busy, crazy can mean stressful, crazy can sometimes mean good. 
it depends on the speaker's voice, okay? Or another one, today is pretty slow, pretty slow. So what does slow mean, right? Slow in this situation means there's not many things happening. Like, I have some tasks, but it's like no big requests, <laughs> it's just quiet. So you can use slow to describe the pace of your activities for the day. Today is pretty slow, yeah? All right, so, and again, I already see some people are making the same mistake I just talked about, this one. ED, ED, here, I'm going to change my tip. Your ED adjectives. Talk about your emotions. Your ING adjectives talk about things that are outside of you, okay? So I'm going to put this on the screen. If you make this mistake, I will be very surprised, <laughs> okay? So again, when you choose the adjective, oops, I made a typing mistake again. So if you want to use an adjective, make sure that you use the correct adjective. This is a very, very basic thing to review, yeah? So. Today is exciting, for example, yeah? So we are doing many things, yeah? So if you want to describe your emotions, use an ED adjective. I am excited. Today is exciting, yeah? All right, looking for more examples from you. Um, let's see, uh, some people, I've seen a few people say, so far, so good, nice, so far, so good, good example, okay? Um, others, today is busy, many people are saying, uh, let's see, Mauricio, would it be okay to use present perfect continuous? What do you think? Try it. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Rosary says, it's, it's, it is going boring. I would just say it's boring, yeah? Like, we, when we, some of you, that's okay to say it's going good. It's going okay. That's fine. Usually, we use, like, those kinds of set expressions. We say it's going good. It's going okay. So we, I don't know, we would sometimes, personally, I would not say it's going boring. Like we, we, I would just say it's boring. That sounds more natural. We usually say it's going good or it's going great or it's going okay. Those kind of more general expressions like that are sort of set with it's going. So I personally would not use a very specific adjective like boring or exciting in that uh, in that pattern. I would use good or okay or maybe fine, I suppose. Very general adjectives, okay? Um, good. Others, so, okay, good. Some people are writing, today is amazing, today is hot, today is interesting. Good, okay, good. Um, all right, let's go to part uh, two of this pattern. So first we have um, our kind of our feeling about today is slow, whatever. So how do we follow up? What's the next part of this, okay? So again, we want to talk about something we are going to do. Again, this is a conversation starting question. So how do we continue the conversation? Here is one idea. I have to infinitive verb phrase. So infinitive verb, remember, this is the basic, the dictionary form of the verb, right? To verb, right? No, but with no uh, uh, to sometimes. So I have to go, in this case, to the bank later, right? So we are expressing a responsibility with this pattern. I have to go to the bank later. So not I have to going. Don't use an ing here infinitive verb. I have to go to the bank later or I have to leave early to catch a flight. Yeah. So again, we are doing this, we're asking this question to start a conversation with the other person. So for example, today is pretty slow. I have to go to the bank later. Right. So we're talking a little bit about our plans, right? Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do that? Or, how's your day going? Today's crazy. I have to leave early to catch a flight. That's a conversation starter. Oh, where are you going? Wow, what for, right? So we can start the conversation and continue the conversation by talking about our responsibilities and our plans for the day, okay? So 
what's up with you guys? How's your day going? <laughs> what are your examples? Okay. Um, some of you are sending me things that are not about today's lesson. I'm looking through. Okay. Uh, Rose, 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 hi, says, I have to wait for a text from work. Good. I have to wait. Good. I have to wait for a text from work. Good. Okay, um, others, some very specific ones. <laughs> um, Mosin says, I have to buy utensils for, for, not to, for my mother. Okay, <laughs> it's very specific, but perfect, <laughs> perfect grammar. Virendra says, I have to do a bunch of work. Okay, good. Um, let's see, other points. Uh, Jonathan says, I have to do my homework by the end of the day. Nice one. Uh, Alejandro says, I have to finish uh, the report for my boss. Okay, good. So we use the if the other person knows about the report. We use a uh, if the other person doesn't know about the report. Quick reminder about your articles there. All right, um, others, let's see, I'm looking, okay, quick, we have many grammar reminders today. <laughs> I see many of you need some grammar refreshers, yeah? Let's do a quick refresh on have to. We use have to to talk about our responsibilities, yeah? So if you say, I have to, but you are describing something you want to do, doesn't, doesn't sound natural, right? So if you, somebody, I forget, I saw a few examples already. Somebody wrote something like, I have to go to the beach, or I have to, I have to go, I have to eat something for lunch, or something like that. I don't know. Something that sounds like you just want to do that? No. Nope. This is for your responsibility, yeah? I have to go to the bank. I have to leave early. Have to sounds like, if I do not do this thing, something bad might happen, yeah? So I have to do something. I have some responsibility or some plan that is important to me. Yeah. So we do not use this to talk about things we want to do. Okay. So I'm looking for your examples. Lots of you have some good, some good grammar homework to study up on, I think. <laughs> okay. Others. Um, let's see. I'm looking for this. Uh, some of you. Okay. What if I use had instead of have? Oh, here, like I had to. Okay, if you wanted to, somebody asked, can I change this have to had? It makes a simple past tense sentence. I had to go to the bank today. I had to leave early. Those questions, or sorry, those sentences are grammatically correct, but they're used at the end of the day. This question is, how is your day going? Yeah, so right now, in this moment. Using past tense would be an incorrect answer. Yeah, you can use that at the end of the day. How was your day? I had to leave early to catch a flight. These are tense questions, yeah, tense-related questions. Okay, uh, all right, oh wow, let's continue. <laughs> it's already 30 minutes after the hour, wow. Okay, some of you have some grammar you need to refresh your brains on. Just saying. <laughs> do quick, do a search on English Class 101's YouTube channel for have to videos and for adjective videos. Yeah, I'm seeing many of you need to practice these things. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, we'll do a super quick uh, last part and then we'll end today's lesson. Okay, so let's very, very quickly end today with another key question What did you do today? What did you do today? So we are going back to past tense. At native speed, this sounds like, what'd you do today? What'd you do today? So this, what did you, gets very, very quick. What'd ya? What'd ya? What'd you do today? What'd you do today? Hmm. So how do you answer this? We are going back to past tense. We practiced this earlier, right? Past tense, simple past tense. So we are going to use a simple past tense verb phrase. I did a bunch of paperwork. I did a bunch of paperwork. Yeah. Past tense. I did. And again, we are seeing a bunch of, right? Many of you asked, what does a bunch of mean? Do you remember? So I did a bunch of paperwork. Paperwork means forms, writing things on forms, sending PDFs and Excel, <laughs> Excel spreadsheets, right? Paperwork, just boring paperwork, right? I did a bunch of 
paperwork today. Or sometimes you have to use this one. Sometimes it's true, I didn't get much done. I didn't get much done. Or I didn't do much. Yeah? I didn't do much. So if you had a busy day, you had lots of tasks, but you didn't finish them, you can say this. I didn't get much done. All right. So what did you do today? I did a bunch of paperwork. <laughs> what did you do today? I didn't get much done today. So this is one way to answer the question, what did you do today? All right. And then I want to finish with an important expression, which is for reporting information you heard. So again, you are giving someone in your life an update about your day with this question, right? So I heard, and then we follow this with a simple sentence. A simple sentence, the most basic form is a subject and a verb, yeah? So you are giving a little piece of information, a full sentence here. So for example, I heard we're getting new staff. Here's my simple sentence, subject verb. We are getting new staff. Ooh, I heard. So this is like, a, not, always, not always gossip, but it's information you received from your coworker or maybe in an email or you heard him at a meeting someone said this. Yeah, I heard we are getting new staff. So we are, this is we are, yeah, our team or our company. Yeah, I heard we're getting new staff. Mm, exciting. Yeah. Or I heard there's going to be a summer party for the company. I heard there's going to be a summer party for the company. Ooh. So again, here's a, a long, simple sentence. There is going to be a summer party for the company. Mm. So we can use I heard, not I heard, but I heard there's going to be a party, a summer party. Okay, so we can report information we received this on that day. Yeah, what'd you do today? Mm, I didn't do very much, or I went to the bank. <laughs> also, I heard we're getting new staff. Ooh. So again, these are conversation starting questions. And so your job is to continue the conversation with your update, with your information. Okay. All right, I'm looking for your examples now. Uh, Merlene says, yes, I did a lot of paperwork. Okay, Mosin says, I went to the market. Good. Um, Paloma says, I studied math and geography. All right, others. Um, Tajala, I did a bunch of tasks. <laughs> tasks. So if you use, I did a bunch of, use this, uh, use a plural noun here. So paperwork is, we don't have, um, we, it's not countable. Paperwork, we don't say paperwork, but task is countable. So I did a bunch of tasks or I had a lot of meetings, right? So make sure you have the S at the end there. Okay. Um, all right. I went to the grocery store to get food, to get food. Okay. So I am noticing, today I've noticed that we need to practice, I think, some key grammar points. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna practice have to, we're gonna practice adjectives, and we're going to practice some verb tenses in upcoming live stream. <laughs> so please don't miss the upcoming streams over the next few weeks. I see many of you need some practice. <laughs> so join me for some practice specific to the problems I'm seeing in today's live stream chat. Ooh, <laughs> we need to do some tests maybe in the live stream. Okay, I have to finish. That was a lot of information today. These are three very simple questions we practiced, yeah? But as you can see, there are lots of ways to answer it, and these are very important conversation skills for the, from these very simple questions, yeah? So again, today we practiced, I'll show it again, what did you do today? And then we also practiced, oof, we also practiced, ah, we also practiced, oh, sorry guys, I can't get that going. Okay, we also practiced, how is your day going? right? Our uh, how is, our present tense question. And then the other one that we practiced at, in the beginning of today's lesson, which I can't grab. Why can't I grab it? The other one that can't, that I can't find over here. Okay. How was your day today? There we go. Okay. How was your day today? So we practiced these three questions, which are very simple questions. Yeah. But 
we have to think about the grammar, how was, how is, what did you do, and we need to think about how to continue the conversations with these kinds of questions, yeah? So I want to practice these grammar points more, but in other lives because I have to go. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me for today's live stream. I am now going to share next week's live lesson information because of course I'll be back next week. <laughs> so please join me next week, Wednesday, April 19th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is New York City time. If you don't know your local time, please Google it or you can set a notification on YouTube or on Facebook or if you follow me on Instagram, I sometimes post a link and a topic reminder in my Instagram stories, so come follow me on Instagram. Uh, next week, we're going to practice how to talk about something you read recently. How do you talk about this? So we're going to talk about um, like reporting information, specifically things you read, like articles, news, and so on. Okay? So... That's it for me today. So join me again next week and join me in future live streams to practice some of the problems we saw today. Yeah, good, good practice, good practice chance. Okay, we'll finish there for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to check the level check test at EnglishClass101.com. You can find all of the information from the link above or below the video to get the free level check test there. I hope that is helpful for you. All right, I'll say goodbye. So thanks so much for liking and sharing the video. Come find me on Instagram if you want. Uh, have a good day. Have a good week.